Good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Lucas Carné. I'm uh, the co-founder and uh, CEO of uh, Privalia. Privalia is a company that was born in 2006 in Barcelona. It's an online retailer. We sell fashion. We sell uh, mainstream brands. Uh, we cover 60% of the addressable branded apparel in the pyramid of brands. So we are not uh, selling luxury, we are not selling mass market, we are in the middle. And our target customer is uh, 20 to 40 year old woman. Uh, we are targeting uh, what we call smart shoppers because we sell uh, brands at high discounts, average of 60% discounts on um, regular retail price. And we do so because 95% of our sales are off-price sales. That means that we sell end-of-season products. Uh, we source them at high discount on wholesale price, and we sell them to the customers also at high discount on retail price. We operate in five geographies, uh, in Southern Europe and in Latin America. We were born in Spain, uh, then we launched in Italy. We moved into Latin America, first uh, to the Brazilian market and then to the Mexican market. And uh, one and a half years ago, we made an acquisition in Germany. Overall, uh, we had uh, around 60 million unique visitors in the last 12 months, according to uh, Google Ad Planner, and almost half of them are in Latin America. Um, in my short presentation today, I would like that you um, bring home just five ideas about Privalia. The first one is local approach. Local approach is what's differentiating us from most of our competitors doing also fashion online retail. And what I do mean by local approach is that around 70% of our showroom uh, is made by uh, products that has, have been specifically sourced to adapt to the local taste of the market. Most of them coming from local brands, and some of them from global brands, but from specific product portfolios, customizing the local markets. And the impact of that is that around 70% of our sales come from those product selection, and this is radically different than what you may find in most of the global online fashion retailers. And what are the implications for us of this local approach? The implications is that we have different showrooms in every market, that we have uh, local sourcing teams, that we have local distribution centers and production facilities, and that we manage most of our media investment to acquire traffic through uh, local media groups. The second message is mobile. We believe that mobile is the channel where we are going to have the big battle in the future. Privalia has been historically very innovative in adopting the new uh, channels. Uh, if we, for example, look at our uh, social or social media presence, we have uh, around 2 million fans at Facebook. Uh, this is more fans than any other uh, online fashion retailer worldwide. That's highly beneficial for us in a business where prescription is a very important source of new members and new buyers. But I, I, I would want to concentrate today in, in mobile. As you see, mobile was almost unexistent for us one year and a half ago, and now this is representing uh, around 20% of our sales, and this is very relevant in our geographies, 
uh, where smartphones and mainly tablets penetration are far away from the ones you may find in the US. Uh, that means that one out of every four euros in Privalia, in sales, come now through the mobile. And this is basically um, three times the share we had 12 months ago in our sales. But uh, in absolute terms, that means that uh, our mobile sales have um, multiplied by five in the last 12 months. We had uh, 1.5 million uh, downloads of our uh, mobile app. We are ranked consistently top 25 in each market in uh, the lifestyle category. In fact, today we are number one in Spain in lifestyle, and we are consistently uh, top 10. Um, but maybe the, the most important message on mobile uh, is that it's additive for our business. Even conversion rates from visit to orders are lower than in the website. Uh, what we have experienced is that people downloading our application and visiting Privalia in the mobile are increasing their conversions in the website. And uh, a second main message I would like to give you regarding mobile is that mobile, it's not about the platform. It's not about the technology, but it's about the business model. And you will not probably see those growth and those impact in other traditional uh, shop formats. But for a business like Privalia, where we basically clear stock from brands, and when we have uh, very attractive offers, but limited in time and with limited stock, the mobile is the good channel to go. So we are forecasting that uh, mobile is probably going to be one of the key uh, differentiators between uh, winners and losers in the next two years among top online fashion retailers. Third message is leadership. I just put here the four geographies where we grew organically. And uh, in all of them, we are market leaders in our space. Uh, and this is regardless uh, the competitors. This is regardless the market maturity. And this is also regardless of uh, we being first entrant or not in those markets. And it's also very relevant to point out that our competitive position in Latin America is uh, significantly stronger than the one we have in, in Europe. Fourth message is growth track record. And this is basically a result of uh, messages one to three. Uh, we have grown from a 60 million euro company in 2009 to a close to 300 euro million company in 2011. Uh, Kagers in Latin America are close to 400% those two years. And even in the first half of uh, 2012 versus same period last year, in LATAM we have been growing close to 100%. And the fifth message is about the big opportunity that our current five markets present to us in terms of uh, prospect for growth. And basically, I'm going to give you uh, two big figures. One is the total population we are addressing, which is 500 million. You can compare that with the US market, uh, which is 300 million. But most important is that uh, today, current internet penetration in those markets is around 50% compared to the more than 80% in the US and uh, around the 90% percent 
in other uh, more mature uh, Central and Northern European countries. So it's a big market with still a lot of room for growth of the internet and the digital media and e-commerce adoption. So those are the, the five big messages about the company. Uh, one is a local approach. Second one is channel innovation, but mainly the potential for mobile to differentiate and win competitors. Third one is about leadership. Uh, leadership is very important uh, as we are having uh, a value proposition for the brands in each market, which is that we can clear for them more stock than any other player in those geography. Uh, fourth one is growth track record. And the fifth one is our capacity to keep on growing because our markets will allow for, for that. And just to close my presentation, I wanted to uh, share with you how we want to keep on growing. Uh, first is bringing more customers into our shop. I mean, this is very basic. Uh, we are increasing the number of members, the number of unique visitors, and as we saw, we foresee this growth still being uh, very significant in the forthcoming years. The second one is also um, very simple. We are a shop, so we are trying to increase our sales per square pixel. And this is about increasing frequency, increasing conversion, and increasing uh, the basket size. And we are doing that through uh, improving our channels. Not only the mobile, but also the, the website. Uh, selling fashion is not easy. And there are many specifics, many details, specifically on how you show the products, on how you describe the products, on how you mm, take the pictures, on how you uh, recommend uh, total looks, on how you recommend complementary products that uh, make an impact and any point of increasing conversion has a high impact in, in sales. The third one is uh, keep on increasing, improving, and segmenting the offer. So it's uh, going towards further personalization of our content in our shops and also on the way we target our consumers. Fourth one is improving our customer experience, uh, keep on investing in infrastructure, mainly supply chain infrastructure. And obviously, there's a last one, which is expanding into new geographies at, at some point in time. Thank you.